Here I come. <laughs> Emery <laughs> was um, just a light. She was crazy. She was funny. She was smart. Emery Funkhauser was born with half a heart and a double dose of spunk. Leg down. Put your leg down. He <laughs> was listening to current Hozier and <laughs> she had good taste in music for such a young, young kid. She had her first open heart surgery just after she was born. Another by four months and before age two, doctors told her parents Emery would need a new heart. Transplants are not a cure. She'll she could go into rejection and then need another heart. On average, heart transplants last about 12 years. No matter how many years she was going to be with us, we wanted to experience as many things as possible. She wasn't going to be normal. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> At one point, Emery was taking 15 medications a day, many created for adults, often with dangerous side effects. The medication made her susceptible to sunburn and skin cancer. One medicine in particular, I think it was a steroid that tasted uh, particularly bad. Through it all, her parents and big brother Colin were determined to give her a lifetime of adventures. Gosh darn it, we were going to make right. it to the beach. Right. Five years after her transplant and out of the blue, the first signs of rejection showed up. We thought she would always be the exception and that she would be the one that survived. Just before her seventh birthday, Emery's parents learned their daughter's own antibodies were attacking her donor heart. They did relist her for a heart, but about three weeks after that, so about three months total time, she ended up dying because her heart was so weak and so damaged that she couldn't wait. Today, Emery's memory is ever present in stickers, tattoos, the backyard view of her elementary school, and in the work her parents are now doing with the nonprofit Enduring Hearts. This is a really underfunded segment and um, we need research to be able to help be able to detect rejection sooner, to be able to lead to less evasive processes, heart biopsies, um, all of the secondary illnesses that come along. The national charity was founded in Atlanta in 2013 to fund cutting edge research to prevent pediatric heart diseases and extend the life of transplants. We want to see the research advance because we don't want families to go through what we went through. You better get to mommy before I do. We want there to be more answers, better treatment, and we want to see these kids surviving much longer.